Hello, today's video is on stock number 36128ND, the pulse generator and a pulse width modulator. Uh, two, two functions in one. Uh, I thought I'd make a quick video on it. Um, you can follow the instructions, but it may be a little difficult, so let's, let's just do a quick visual and run through it. Uh, when you first power it up, uh, it operates off of 3.3 to 30 volts DC. 30 volts max. I, I looked the capacitor is a little 35 volts, so be very careful with that if you're using it at a higher voltage. I'm currently just using it on a 9 volt battery just to uh, just to demonstrate it. Uh, and a little LED to show you some of the, the outputs uh, when the output's on. Uh, so it's 9 volts in, it's going to be 9 volts out. Uh, what's nice and different about this one is they actually included a nice little MOSFET transistor rated up to 8 amps. So you can hook this directly up to a, a motor or a valve such. So this can directly drive uh, whatever you're looking to drive up to 8 amps. Uh, a nice LCD screen backlit. Really no way to turn the backlighting off. Uh, you can see the physical size. It's about uh, two, two and a third inches, two and a half inches by about one and a quarter inches and probably about a half inch height thick. I've got it stuck to a little piece of double tape here to see if we can just keep it from sliding around too much while, I, while we play with the program. There's five buttons across the bottom. Uh, set and stop. Uh, right now it comes when you first power it up. One kilohertz on a 50% duty cycle in the pulse width modulation. Uh, this button will turn, you'll see output. It'll turn on the output off and on, quick and easy. Uh, you have uh, turn that on. Uh, uh, plus and minus frequency. You can run it all the way down to 1 hertz at 50% duty cycle and you can run the duty cycle down to essentially zero. There's 1% and you see the LED. Or you can run it up to 100% duty cycle. As for the frequency, uh, there's only four characters. So once you get up to uh, 10 kilohertz, you'll see the decimal point move. And when you get above 100, it'll move over more. So 150 uh, kilohertz max. Okay, and as you see, the percentage sign, that's, that's a very important thing to, to watch for. If you want to know which mode you're in, this one is has the frequency next to the duty cycle. Now let's get into the uh, the pulse mode. This is what caused me a little confusion. Uh, there's a start, uh, set, stop. Hold it, the, press it for about one, about a little over ten seconds. Okay, you see the decimal point goes away. Now you're in the pulse mode. Uh, these are seconds, so this is on. Top one is on time, so it's one second on, one second off, and you can easily change that by using the uh, by using the, the, the frequency controls the top one and the duty cycle controls the off time. Let's stick to about one second each. Just and to add one more little wrinkle to these, to this, to this item, which said caused me a little confusion. Uh, if you press and hold the set button one more time for about two seconds, you go into, that's a delay start on start. And this is how many times you want the, uh, the, the item to loop, how many loops you want. It comes factory set at infinite loops. So it will just keep pulsing on and off uh, until you remove power. Let's say we only, oop, that's too much. Just for the sake of this video, we'll just cycle it. Okay, this is a delay at turn on. So let's say if we wanted, that's a two and a half second delay at turn on, and it will run the one, the, the cycle six times and then turn off. So then press the uh, set start again for about two seconds. Okay, now we're back in the mode. It is turned off. I, if I remember right, if I'll, I'll remove power. So it will turn on automatically when you apply power. Uh, let's see, do we have that two and a half second delay? Turn on delay. One, two. Okay, it turns on. That's cycle one, two, three, 
four, five, six, and the unit turns off. And every time you either remove power, two and a half seconds start up, or you can also start it by pressing the start button. Okay, that is how uh, you use the two different functions. If you want to go back to as a frequency pulse width modulation control, press and hold for about 10 seconds. And you'll see the percentage sign come back and that may, will let you know you're back into frequency and, and the uh, duty cycle. Well, hopefully this answers your questions. Uh, let us know if you have any more. Thank you for watching our video.